Hello everyone, I'm Mac, your community manager. As I'm sure you know, a sewer system is a TTRPG staple for any city setting. Many have asked how to build a sewer in Dungeon Alchemist, and today I will teach you how to do just that. So without further ado, I present the first episode of my Dungeon Alchemist tutorial series, Give a Damn. Step 1. Map Prep. Create a new map by clicking File, then New Map. For this tutorial, select Digital, then set your preferred map size. To keep things simple, set Terrain to Grasslands, Elevation to Flat, Vegetation to No Vegetation, Water to No Water, and Room Placement to Water Level. Then click Create to generate the map. Step 2. Paint. Now that you have the map template, let's start staging it for your sewer system. First, you want the terrain to feel like a sewer. Select the Terrain tool in the bottom left of the toolbar, then click the Paint Terrain tab at the top of the Terrain panel. Set your brush to the max size and set your preferred stone brush type. Then paint the grassland into a much better suited rock terrain. Step 3. Grid and Saving To enable the building grid, go to File, then Settings. Set the grid toggle to on, and while you're here, choose a color and transparency level to fit your style. This is an excellent point to save your build. You can accomplish this by clicking File, then Save, or Control S. I recommend frequently saving so you don't lose any of your hard work. Trust me, I've lost a lot. Step 4. Floor Plan Select the Draw Room tool located at the top of the toolbar. You can choose any room type, as we will edit the room to fit our needs later. Make sure you switch the AI toggle to off to minimize the number of objects the AI places. When drawing your sewer template, it's wise to use a width of at least 3 to 7 blocks. Draw out your template while keeping the same block width for the floor. These sizes will give you a decent template to place your sewer canal in the center, which I will cover in the next step. Step 5. Removing Walls Select the Remove Room tool from the toolbar, then the Draw Room tab from the top of the panel. You will use these to delete the room area where you want your water canal to go. Then click the trash can symbol to delete the room from that space, leaving the now blank terrain exposed. Notice there is now a new wall created by this process that we must remove. To do this, select the Wall tool from the toolbar, then click the Remove Wall tab at the top. Hover over the wall segment you wish to delete until the wall disappears. While holding left click, drag across the wall segments until all the added walls are gone. We have now built a space you can carve out your water canal. Step 6. Carving the Canal Select the Terrain tool from the toolbar, Click the Lower Terrain tab, and then extend the brush to roughly the size of your water canal. Hold left click and slowly drag over the land space. Notice the terrain immediately begins to recede. This process will take a bit, but your persistence will pay off with a lovely canal ready to add water. Next, select the Paint Terrain tab at the top of the terrain panel, click the water brush, and paint anywhere in the canal. This will fill it with water instantly. Step 7. Decor It's finally time to decorate and light your sewer. Let's start with the walls. Select the Wall tool from the toolbar and click the Change All Walls tab. Pick your wall of choice and click each section you want to change, swapping all the walls in that section instantly. Next, select the Floor tool from the toolbar and a floor tile that fits your design. You can even click and drag across the floor plan to save time. You may have noticed the negative space outside your walls, and depending on your medium, your players may see it too. To address this, select the Object tool. Make sure you disable collisions so you can densely pack them and click the Object Brush tab at the top. Then using the Rock Brush, you can fill this space in moments. Lighting is crucial. Be sure to switch the collision toggle back on, then configure the color and brightness of your light source and place them throughout your sewers to help set the correct tone. 
To save time, duplicate objects by holding shift as you place the object, immediately generating a duplicate. Now it's time to start with the finer details. Select the Objects tool, and using the search bar, you can begin to populate your sewer with various objects, such as pipes, rubble, vines, moss, pottery, lighting, and other scene-appropriate decor. Lastly, select the lighting tool from the toolbar and adjust it until it fits your created environment. Congratulations! You just crafted an entire custom sewer system from scratch and are now ready to export your map to your VTT of choice or as a JPEG for printing. I hope you found this tutorial informative, and remember, if you enjoyed this content, please comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. If you would like to take a closer look at the map in this video, the DAM file is available for free on our official Discord. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Mac, your community manager, and we'll see you next time I give a damn.